very good evening to everyone we are here with yet another virtual session and today's session is a new thing i laid in today's session it's journey exploration we will explore her journey through her wide range of perception and experiences from her journey so i'll introduce her today's speaker she is pooja mathu and she is a recent psychology honors graduate from ip college for women's that university she has interest in the field of human resources and organizational behavior currently she is working as a core team member at visionaries which is a student led volunteer initiative for the visually impaired that is so great that we are welcoming you on our platform on your group thank you so much so without any delay i'll just go with the session with a question and answer and it would be through your journey so my first question so what's your point and what's your interest towards your journey to choose a subject called psychology in your life because it's your career now so first of all thank you so much for the beautiful introduction and i would like to thank the oig team for giving me this opportunity to speak at your platform so thank you so much so to begin with um, psychology uh, i was introduced to psychology in class 11th and 12th so uh, somewhere down the line i knew that this is a very interesting subject and i'll get to know something more about human behavior like why am i feeling the way i am feeling or why if a person thinks that way what is the cause behind it or why is a person behaving in such a way in so a certain circumstance so these were the factors which encouraged me to take up a very different field like i belong to a family where most of the people are from the finance background so uh, this was a very different decision for me and somewhere down the line i knew that i wanted to make an impact or somehow or some what help people maybe later in future so what is a better field than studying psychology and adding to that my family and my friends they were extremely supportive that i am taking i am going forward with such a new and wise field so my support system was strong so uh, they encouraged me that yeah i should go for this one so uh, there's one thing that i would like to uh, tell uh, everybody who is listening is that uh, just try and follow what interests you these years or uh, these decisions they later on help you and like you'll be really proud that you maybe took the path which is not that traveled but just follow your passion and uh, maybe do something which interests you don't uh, go into the peer pressure or the rat race that i have to do science or i i have to get into so and so career because this person said or what will the society say so just try and follow uh, what you want to do yeah so as you said peer pressure maybe yeah. peer pressure goes different with different individual maybe my peer pressure is my parents or societal pressure but for you peer pressure might be something else from yourself itself okay yeah. so my point is uh, seen the same question that how would you help people or students like me to get over with this peer pressure yeah so uh, one thing we have to understand is that uh, there'll be a lot of forces which might be pushing you down or there might be your family who might say that do this or do that but uh, like as we say now uh, we should take a call and we should stand up for ourselves so one can really overcome this by actually introspecting that what i want to do where can i find the happiness and peace and then uh, they should just stand up for themselves and uh, ultimately like ultimately if you will be happy your loved ones would also be happy for your success and for your growth so maybe just uh, feel that you are the protagonist of your life and you have to take all the decisions not somebody else so maybe this kind of self reflection would uh, enable you to 
uh, do what you want and uh, like stay away for, uh, from the peer pressure or any kind of society pressure. Thank you. That what you have explained the protagonist part, the word what you have used, it's a perfect word to reflect the word peer pressure. And that's what I feel that if we inculcate something like this, maybe it's difficult in the student era. But when we go through with this era, it will change our career. It will change our profession too. So I hope you have answered very well. My next question would be, what would be your transition? Because in my, if I click a picture, there would be a transition of series. So you have clicked your pictures from career wise, from your school to your college, to your visionary part right now. So what's your transition with different people, environment, places, and have you make uh, like have you created an example for your juniors or for your family members? Right. So uh, I would say uh, like after eventually studying psychology in my plus two, I had a fair idea that this is a part where I would like to uh, move forward. So I I aimed for Delhi University and I got into IT college in the third cut off. After that, it was uh, entirely a roller coaster ride. So there were bumps and like I met lots of people from various backgrounds. So uh, people with diverse thinking. And uh, so it was, uh, I, it took around, uh, it might sound a bit uh, awkward, but it took around six months for me to settle down to uh, get used to with the, all the processes, uh, all the things that were happening around me. I was uh, like never a library person in school, but in college, I spent hours and hours um, in the library trying to study, trying to find which, what are the things that interest me. So uh, like, I would say that I have actually grown as an individual. Because college is a space that offered me a lot of exposure. I was um, like a lot of avenues open for me. So I would say that uh, my complete personality had kind of changed. I was a pretty uh, shy kind of a studious uh, person in school. But in college, when opportunities were given, I like tried to grab all the opportunities. And I also explored that so and so this and the, these things are of my interest. So um, like I was uh, then later selected in the psychology association as a website executive. So that was one of the most enriching experiences of my life because uh, I was at a position where I could take decisions and by website executive because I felt that uh, like uh, uh, from the childhood, I really was a person that, oh, it's so-and-so person's birthday. Okay, let's create a PPT for them. Oh, it's their special day. Let's create a collage for them. So these were very uh, minute things, but they were uh, pretty stepping stones and uh, which encouraged me that yeah, maybe I could be good at maybe graphic designing or something like creating posters. So yeah, these, these experiences, uh, they built a lot of confidence in me. I learned teamwork and um, it was also that my professors, they were so supportive that uh, like if I made a mistake, I was never, like they made the uh, surroundings so safe that if I made a mistake, I can always go back to them and tell them that this is the thing I'm not getting. So please guide me onto the direct path. So uh, college has offered a lot of uh, life-changing kind of experiences. It has also made me independent. I was never a person who would actually travel in the metro or go alone. But yeah, these are the small things uh, which uh, have changed me over the past three or four years. And college also uh, exposed me to like a diverse cohort of students in my class and like uh, students who have just come out of uh, school are very vulnerable. So there were also various challenging decisions I had to take and I had to make clear boundaries that 
if like for example just a random example if a person is saying okay let's go for a smoke up so like it's completely on you to take the call what is right for you what is wrong for you so yeah these were the things which um, i try to uh, like these were the various kinds of experiences like what the world is out there so yeah it has been a very uh, adventurous journey and finally as i said uh, i didn't have friends for almost what 6 months but yeah i explored and then these like three people they clicked and now they are friends for life so these uh, were the things that uh, helped me grow as a person so yeah much so nice that we have seen your growth as an independent individuals because see growing as an individual it's a very big task for a girl in this india and right now maybe it's changing with the time but still it's difficult task and you have said that we can do and you can do and every girl can do with the effort what she is the supported environment the one thing i must say if it is there everyone can grow in perspective of goals it needs supportive environment so everyone who is watching this if you have any effort so you create an environment for them to grow and it's very essential now when we go to your professional career i'll talk about some points in research how we are given a chance to conduct a research now i'm not talking about psychology but in a general way how we can talk to people from different perspective of different career in the life what will be the corporate exposure in terms of research what will be the papers how to write papers get published in the good journals that's a very big task and you have you have done a very wonderful job but still i wanted to understand your journey the path of that right so as i said uh, college was a place which offered a lot of avenues for me so research was one of them we uh, like we were exposed to what around 16 practicals so we did 16 uh, like we did research on different topics and we interacted with like tons of people so i would say that research is a very rewarding field because you have a problem at hand you explore the problem you find what can be the various solutions if not solutions you can review what has already been done and then you add to the pool of research so you are contributing uh, to the literature of whatever field you are working towards so definitely research has been a part of my identity uh in my uh, first year i had written a paper on pubg so uh, this was a very uh, new field this was like this uh, mobile game uh which uh, the youth really i just saw uh, even i was addicted to it so i really wanted to understand it what is it which is causing me to like leave my studies or leave interacting with anybody and just hopping on to my phone and uh, playing pubg so yeah that was a very very insightful uh, paper which i had written and like i discovered what were the positive effects what were the negative effects and by particularly the youth is so much into it so yeah research is uh, research makes you grow as a person recently i had uh, also written a paper on romantic relationships uh, in this uh, technological era so that was also a very uh, relevant topic uh, because i studied like how uh, how in this era of mobile phones people are maintaining their relationship there was this uh, aspect called fubbing uh, which i studied uh, fubbing emotional intimacy relationship satisfaction so how how in the era of mobile phones and social media how are people actually keeping up with each other so uh, these were the areas where uh, like i explored with my mentor and my peer and it was a very enriching uh, experience for me we like made a lot of efforts to get the paper published and currently it's in the process so it's a very um, i would say a very long process but it's completely worth it 
like uh, i recall another practical where which was on gerontology which is the study of uh, old uh, generation so that was that is a practical which has like uh, i've passed out and uh, graduated and it is still it still holds a very close space in my heart because i got to know about the people their lives from start to end like how was their life how it progressed what were the challenges how was their childhood how was their corporate life what uh, like what problems they faced how did they overcome them what were the breakthroughs so um, and what are their learning what would they like to pass down to the people the uh, children so that was one practical uh, one research which is very near to my heart apart from this uh, there have been uh, like uh, as i as you mentioned in my introduction that human resources and organization behavior these were two uh, subjects which uh, were really uh, which were i was really interested in so uh, because of these two subjects we were exposed to a lot of field visits uh, and we explored a lot of uh, topics like organization culture work life balance motivation among employees so all these uh, avenues were for me they were opened by my college and also uh, since i had the knack to like know a little more about certain things so i also moved forward with writing a research paper and uh, with the current covid scenario i am really looking forward to write another paper which would maybe talk about the experiences of hybrid working or how the people uh, the employees are managing their work life balance so yeah research has been a great thing for me thank you and with the same thing research you, your profile says we have conducted a research on corporate social responsibility practices of public se- sector and private sector banks in india and the results were good i wanted to know what your experiences on that result part or what would the statistics says about the research yeah so uh, this was uh, the study i conducted where i studied the corporate social responsibility practices which were carried out by uh, public sector banks and the private sector banks so uh, the thing that was most evident which i found out was that uh, in public sector banks uh, there was uh, there were a lot of things which were out there which that showcased that we are doing so and so and so but uh, the actual impact or the actual um, i would say like actually when it's reaching the people in need that was more often done by the private sector banks so this was a, a clear result which we had found out yeah and what would be the first step if a student want to enter into the research how they should think in their life that if they want to do research because everyone is having idea every day but to convert it into a research it's a step by process so how would you deal and how would you guide uh this is a really good question and uh, this uh, uh, immediately like i went down the memory lane and i can recall that uh, the i was in my first year of college and there was this workshop which was being conducted by one of my seniors so uh, like from that i would like to take a few points that if uh, like you really want to explore the field of research you should sit down you should write down any and everything which interests you it can be as simple as uh, how depression and how having a pet are correlated to anything uh, as close to maybe like i did Uh, studying romantic relationships or maybe anything about uh, how we perceive ourselves why do we procrastinate anything and everything on on your radar anything is a any topic is a good topic so first thing is to just write down all the points another important thing is look for a mentor who can guide you in this process 
so uh, i was really fortunate enough uh, to have like amazing professors and uh the, my mentor she mentored me for almost 3 years and she still we are still in touch and she still guides me in uh the academic and my personal life so look for a mentor second is uh, to see that what kind of research would you like to take like would you like to go into a qualitative research or a quantitative research so what is your field or which is the aspect you want to explore right so after like if like i personally am a person who would uh, definitely go for qualitative research i love talking to people i love taking interviews although the process is very tedious uh, like you said you transcribe them you make themes so uh, definitely research is a very long process but look for the methodology how you would like to go forward with your research and uh look for the platforms how you can approach people how uh, x y z thing can be extracted like if i want to know that if a person is really satisfied in their relationship maybe they are not really comfortable in giving an interview but they might be comfortable filling a survey form which taps most of the questions and uh, their anonymity and uh, will be remain will be intact so these are the things which you can keep in mind and uh, also uh, like uh, just take the guidance just don't uh, refrain yourself from asking for help to how to uh, like proceed forward or what can be my next step and then uh, after your data has been collected to uh, like uh, these days we use the social media platforms to explore and collect the data and then we do the analysis and we write the conclusion i i know it looks uh, very simple uh, but uh, it like uh, it's easier said than done but yeah it's a very interesting process uh, when you will actually get the results and you will write your conclusion and interpretation and conclusion and when you will get a chance to present your paper after that that will be uh, the most uh, content feeling like you'll that will make you really happy so i would uh, say that if you have a little knack for research or you are very curious then just go with just go with whatever topic you are interested in uh, like for me the pubg topic the players uh, unknown battlegrounds the game it was a very unlikely of me to do it but i got into it i was addicted to it so that was the topic of my research so yeah just go for it i would say thank you so much for your response for that and it was great that we should have an in, uh, encouragement from our guide to to do a research okay so my next question would be to you uh, what is the importance of volunteering in everyone's life maybe it is different in your life so what would be the importance and what is the experience of yours all right so uh, first of all uh, like i feel that i am a bit of a people's person and uh, doing some kind of welfare it makes me happy nothing else apart from uh, this aspect i feel that uh, like if we have a little bit of time we should definitely give back to the society in some or the other way it uh, can be in the form of anything any service you can offer any monetary help you can offer i'm obviously a student so i am more uh, inclined towards uh, doing something any any kind of help one can do so again in my college i got this opportunity to uh, work with the nss team uh, there was a program called noor so this was an outreach program where we uh, went to slum areas and we taught the underprivileged children so uh, that the feeling it's uh, for me it's about the feeling when uh, like even though you leave for college at 7:30 you get back at 7:30 but all of this is really worth it so when i used to go there after my classes and the students would be so happy they would be waiting for you and they would like hug you they would run towards you so 
this was the kind of feeling and then you're actually creating an impact the student is learning the student is able to study the student is able to give the exam so uh, like this was the most uh, i would say one of the most uh, i would say uh, an experience which was very close to my heart uh, and it was so heartwarming to uh, like see their happy faces and to teach them and then they would give the same amount of love back to us so i uh, recall this um, last day at uh, the area we used to go and teach the defense colony area near civil lines delhi so uh, like there was last day uh, almost all of us were in tears because we received so many cards from the students there they were so happy and sad at the same time that the journey was like coming to an end so um, it's uh, really important for a person to maybe create an impact or give back and uh, like we also did uh, like not it was not just about studies or academics we also interacted with them we danced with them we sang songs we also uh, conducted a few dramatic plays uh, to like enlighten them about what is sexual assault and how things can be prevented and we also uh, gave them a few sessions about menstrual hygiene and other things which uh, would actually make them grow or would help them in any way possible so yeah volunteering is good and it will make you happy and uh, like one should uh, like there's a saying that you should do the good and not uh, think about what will come in return so just do the good and uh, just leave it then uh, just do the good that <laughs> what i want to say so, yeah thank you what would be your three experiences like which was the most impact or factors that volunteering will give to us three points uh, or three factors which will be given by the process of volunteering okay uh, so first of all it will give you lots and lots of satisfaction it will be a life changing experience for you so anyone who wishes to do something just for the ex- for the like just for experiencing it like how you will feel how will how it will make you feel that is another thing just for the go for the experience and last thing is that you are going to create an impact you are doing a great thing so it is something that you can be proud about that because of your small efforts it's actually causing a big change in someone else's life so these would be the three takeaways if uh, i would have to tell someone to go for volunteering yeah so that is really a great efforts when a volunteering is needed okay and everyone should do whatever they can in their perspective or in their area of surroundings whatever is available volunteering is needed in terms of covid or without covid also you can do volunteer so maybe we are coming as a hack in to asking questions about your life there is a point called problem in everyone's life Uh, life is equals to problem i feel every day we do face a problem but how do we overcome them because we do have a positive emotion negative emotion we do have a positive motivation negative motivation through our surrounding or environment so how we do overcome them so uh, like as a student there are a number of problems one experiences uh, like as we know life is a pretty bumpy ride so one can like college life can maybe have a toll on one's mental health maybe sometimes you are demotivated to do something sometimes you procrastinate sometimes you're not able to manage your time so these were the problems which I, even i faced and i face till date and i'm still trying to figure out what would be the best possible way to overcome them 
but i would just say that one should always ask for help like there is so much uh, i would say uh, kindness or there are so many good people around the world that one should not refrain from asking help so uh, what helped me was and maybe uh, this is something i'm really grateful for that whenever i had a breakdown or anything i had people have my back so i had family i had friends from school from college who were just a call away so never fail to reach out maybe if x person is busy by person will help you out so this is one thing and with regard to prioritizing things and being demotivated to do something like i there there are a lot of concerns with saying i really don't feel like studying or i really don't like to work out what should i do so one should have a clear goal although it might seem that uh, it's very difficult for a student to have a very clear goal that uh, this is this i'm going to do this in the next 10 years i'm going to achieve this position in the next 20 years i know it is difficult but one should at least realize that there or set certain goals small goals to reach you should have a vision so these things will help you move towards that path so this uh, would be my piece of advice for anyone going through any problem and also if uh, anybody faces mental health problems you should seek for help uh like there are a lot of uh counselors psychologists therapists out there who will be able to help you if you're not able to uh, like discuss your problems with anyone close to you so there are always uh, there's always one door which will be open to you the other closes so just look out and seek for help as you have said the psychologist i have a question for you in regards of uh, what we had going discussion uh, what would be the three qualities you will see in a person to whom you will meet any time anywhere a stranger a three qualities you must observe as a psychologist what would be it? like uh, if like could you clarify the question if i am the psychologist what and would i have, see that other person yeah when you meet someone at the first time what would you see three things in that person um okay uh, so like these are uh, things personal to me i don't know uh, what a psychologist might look for but um, if i am looking out for a friend i would maybe like to see or understand uh maybe someone who is empathetic or understanding they should maybe uh, know that they should understand that if if i'm not speaking or if i'm maybe uh, behaving in an unusual manner there might be something behind it uh, a person must be kind i feel uh, which is uh, kindness is uh, like really a i would say a skill one should really have it's not really a skill but it is something one should really have and uh, lastly uh, maybe the person should be caring these would be the things i would see as a friend uh, if i'm looking out for a friend and i would just uh, request you to rephrase the question if i am still giving it the i am still giving the incorrect answer no it is the clear cut answer what we has asked okay. and what would be the three books you like the most in your life all right so uh, i'm not a book person but uh, currently i started reading this uh, book called uh, the winning attitude by jeff keller uh, this was a gift i received but this is a pretty life changing book and the one who is looking out to bring an improvement in their self their uh their daily habits this is one book 
another book which i look forward to reading is uh, uh, healing is the new high by vex king so this is a book uh, which i just recently added in my cart and because i feel that like, uh, one has to heal to grow so this is another book which i would like to read and uh, maybe avoid all uh, conflicts or problems if a person faces i would be able to overcome them by uh, reading this book or with the help of this book apart from that i just love uh, mrs funny bones by uh, tinkle uh, that is a fun read and uh, yeah these would be the books i would suggest thank you for your that that i should also go forward for the books what you have suggested to and my next but not the last or we can say what would be your thoughts you want to share with all of us at the ending part of this session yeah. uh, uh something uh, i didn't do for a very long time but i would like to maybe as we say that uh, what would you suggest your 20 year old self that kind of a question i would say that just go and take risks because uh, like what will happen the least the worst thing that can happen is rejection or failure so i would just say go and take risks and uh, just don't uh, fear the outcome i just uh, read this quote somewhere Uh, i'm following this page on linkedin called one sighting they say that rejection is redirection so go and take risks and uh, just don't fear the outcome secondly i would like to stay uh, say that um, be kind there are lot of uh, like people are going through a lot of stuff and we really don't know uh, like how what we say can impact the other person so just be kind yeah these would be uh, my words of wisdom as you can say the words of wisdom are very great and one thing i want to tell about today's discussion that three points what i have taken from you first you should be independent you should choose your what is right for you second because you have said everything comes in your way you have to decide what is correct what is wrong and that is very true if we do not decide there is no way to go anywhere those problems and positive and negative factors will come in your path so third was about the research it's not an easy task but it's not a hard task if you decide that your idea is to be performed or is to be executed you are the best person to do that so with the three advices you have given to me and many more advices to everyone who will watch and they will gain from you thank you so much thank you so much for your time which you have given to all of us to share your journey experiences and hope everyone will watch and learn a bit of it and that's what you have done today thank you so much thank you uh, like uh, i would really like to thank the entire team this was really a uh, very enriching experience for me because this is the first time i'm speaking so i would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart and like really looking forward to opportunities thank you so much and one last thing because you your profile said vision for visionaries maybe you have taken few parts in your discussion but at the last how you say visionaries or your profile says visionaries for the impaired people what was it all about that would be the last message for all of us all right so as i said that uh, volunteering is a close part of my life so visionaries uh, i came across visionaries uh, in my college but uh, during this pandemic it became i became a core member core team member i did a lot of tasks around helping the visually impaired in their academic life Uh, for example we type books for them we record books we provide scribes for them so this uh, entire year has been has taught me a lot like maybe i haven't had 
any opportunity to uh, maybe explore the practical aspects. Like I learned Excel, I learned how to create dashboards and I led the type in So this, uh, lear this learning has been uh, really great. So uh, I would say that uh, just uh, whenever you get time, just volunteers do something you like and uh, like it gives me a lot of satisfaction to work here. And uh, whenever we get a very positive feedback from visually impaired that you made our day, you helped us, you uh, you really uh, like uh, an example I would like to share. We just completed a, a around 300 pages book in four days with the help of all the volunteers and the entire team. And, uh, the visually impaired student was almost in tears, so happy that uh, like we are creating some sort of impact in their life. So yeah, this is uh, really uh, something very close to my heart. And thank you for bringing this up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your kind and supported words for all the visionaries and who had the vision to and they had vision to do some work. So we all wish uh, we'll wish you all luck for your work, whatever you are doing right now, and you will look good in your future. Thank you so much. Our team is so glad that we had connected with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving this opportunity. And I feel really fortunate that I got a chance to like express my heart out uh, with the help of this platform. And I really hope that this might help somebody somewhere watching. Thank you definitely, so much. Definitely.